Whatever the man wants to hear, Jimmy. Whatever he wants to hear. <laughs> Prodigal son. Major, we got a good shot to clear a couple of cases here. One thing... We're not here to talk cases, McNulty. I don't care about your cases. Sit. Relax. I'm a reasonable guy. In fact, everywhere I go, people say to me, Bill Rawls, you are a reasonable fucking guy. Am I right, Jay? You are reasonable, sir. Yes. Yes, I am. And because your sergeant knows me to be reasonable, he came in here a couple of weeks ago and reasoned with me, right, Jay? Uh, we reasoned. Uh, we did. We reasoned that despite his negligible Irish ancestry and a propensity to talk out of turn, Jimmy McNulty is a good worker. Probably worth saving. Major, I'm not... He's a good-looking kid, huh? <laughs> do you know what we do here, McNulty? What we do here? <laughs> That was one of them, uh, what do you call it? It's a question you don't really have to... A uh, rhetorical question. You were being rhetorical. Rhetorical and reasonable, sir. We work murder cases here, Detective. We work them as they come in, one at a fucking time. It's called the rotation. You're up till you catch one. When you catch one, you step down, you work it for a while, someone else steps up. It's a simple but effective way to do business in a town that has 250 to 300 cases a year. Yes, sir. But if someone gets it into his head to leave the rotation, it puts an unfair burden on the other detectives who have to pick up their casework. Overworked cops make mistakes. Mistakes lower the unit-wide clearance rate. And that can make someone who is uh, otherwise as reasonable as me... Unreasonable. 